Hi, you're listening to Book Chat with author Vivian E. Moore. Welcome, everybody, to this week's episode. We really appreciate you joining us. This podcast really shows us how we can all learn, live, and thrive off of each other. By sharing our knowledge through our conversations, we will impart some knowledge whilst learning ourselves how to progress even further. Here is your host. Hello and welcome to Book Chat. I am your host, Dr. Vivian E. Moore. I hope everyone had a great week and I hope you're having an even better weekend. And uh, happy 4th of July, by the way, that's coming up next week. So I just want to go ahead and get that out of the way. All right. So now that we've done that, let's get straight to today's show. Uh, The title is Who, What, Where? The Art of Storytelling. Okay. So um, who, what, and where is not a play on words characterized by the duo of Abbott and Costello, but it is an art for storytelling. Okay. So let's first talk about the who. So storytelling is, it's an ancient art, uh, that goes beyond cultures and generations and languages. Um, you know, it's an essential part of the human experience that's woven into our fabric. Uh, For example, from the earliest cave paintings to modern day novels and movies, storytelling has allowed people to share knowledge, entertain, and connect. Okay, so at its core, storytelling, um, it, it involves a storyteller and an audience first and foremost okay those two things you need in order to have your story uh to um to be effective okay so the storyteller can be basically anyone all right um a parent that reads a bedtime story to their child at night um a teacher who is explaining a uh a subject or an historical event um an author <laughs> writing a novel, um, or a director crafting a film. Um, the audience can be just one child, a classroom, or it can be millions of readers or cinema goers worldwide. Okay. It is not contained to any location, any venue. It can be anywhere. The who. All right. So now let's talk about the what. So what exactly is storytelling? Well, (laughs) it's using words, duh, uh, and images and sounds to, um, to convey a narrative. Okay. So all stories typically have a beginning, a middle and an end. Now I've never ran across any story that did not have those three elements. Okay. (laughs) And they also have characters and a setting and a plot. Okay. Because we know that that is so, so essential in any story. You need a plot. All right. So, um, but storytelling is more than just, um, recounting events. Okay. It's about creating an emotional experience for the audience. And don't we want to do that? Well, of course we do. Uh, we want to leave them, um, wanting more, but we also want to leave them, uh, with, uh, with more than, than what they came with. Okay. They may have came on empty, but by the time they finish reading that story, they are full. Okay. And not an unpleasant fool, but a good fool to where they're just waiting for everything that they've taken in to digest so they can come back for seconds. Okay. That's what we want to do. And compelling storytelling can definitely do that. But it requires some creativity, a lot of creativity. Okay. Uh, it requires some imagination. And then, um, it also requires an understanding of the human condition. So it doesn't matter what type of genre that you are writing in. Um, you have to understand how, uh, humans work, how they relate to each other. Um, and how to develop a storyline based on that 
information. Okay. Um, you know, it involves some crafting, um, relatable characters. We need that. We don't need characters that the readers cannot get into, that they cannot relate to, that they cannot identify with. Uh, that is so, so crucial. Uh, if you want any type of compelling story, you have to do that. All right. And then you have to build that tension and, and that conflict. We need that in stories. Um, have you ever read a book that was just so flat? It was just so deadpan that you really couldn't get into it. So, um, you know, you just put that one on the shelf and then you grabbed another one and started it instead because it was like there was nothing in it. It was not exciting. There was nothing compelling about that story that would hold you for however long it, it, it would take you to read that book. All right. So, you know, we have to uh, deliver a satisfying resolution in every story. So you need that tension and you need that conflict. All right. Um, I mean, that's real life, is it not? <laughs> there is not a, a single day that you don't experience a little tension and a little conflict. It may not be, you know, devastating. It doesn't have to be devastating, but that's just life in general. OK. And we also need that in our fictional world also. So the best stories, they, they resonate deeper um, and then they leave a lasting impact on the audience. And we always, always, always want to do that. Just like I said, we always want to leave them wanting more, um, you know, fill them up and let them digest that and then have them come back for seconds, thirds, however many times. OK, that we that they that they need that. We want to deliver that to them every single time. All right. So now let's talk about the where, shall we? So we know that storytelling, uh, it happens everywhere and, uh, you know, and it's not confined to, to books or movies. Uh, you know, it's, it's present in everyday conversation <laughs> and, and in marketing campaigns and, and even business presentations. Okay. Stories are shared around campfires. You know, my son just the other day was talking about that they needed to go camping again, but they didn't necessarily want to do it now because it's too hot. Um, you know, we got on the, the conversation of, of, uh, portable air conditioners and he said that he had saved one in his, uh, basket. Uh, <laughs> I was like, well, how much does one of those cost? And he was like a thousand dollars. I was like, whoo, that's a lot. Might as well just wait till the fall. You know, when you get that natural air conditioner and then you don't have to, you know, worry about spending a ton of money on something that's going to keep you cool. But anyway, you know, those are those are the perfect times uh, for storytelling. If you've ever been camping and if you ever had someone uh, in your group that was an excellent storyteller, uh, you know, um, and, and then also on social media and classrooms and boardrooms. So we know that, again, storytelling can happen everywhere. OK. Um, and, and especially in today's um, digital age, um, the avenue for storytelling, it, it has expanded um, and uh, through blogs and podcasts and videos and, and of course, social media platforms. You know, they have become so popular um, of a medium for sharing stories. You know, I, I love TikTok and I love TikTok for those videos. Um, you know, if I need a pick me up, I can go to TikTok and look at those videos. And, and some of them are hilarious. OK, and then some of them are very touching and then some of them are educational. But we just know that storytelling happens everywhere, just like I said. OK, so, um, you know, this um, democratization of storytelling means that anyone with the story inside them can find an audience. We see that firsthand if you are uh, one of those people like me who love uh, TikTok and other so social media uh, sites. Um, they have become so popular uh, for, for, for sharing all types of stories. And that's a great thing. OK, because, again, you know, everyone, they don't possess perhaps the talent to sit down and write a story. But as far as telling a story, they're able to do that. OK. Uh, so um, basically, let's recap, you know, now that we've learned the who, the what and the where, now it's time to just recap uh, about everything that we've learned. So we know that the art of storytelling is a very powerful tool 
um, that transcends time and space. You know, it's about connecting with others and then sharing those experiences. I mean, what it what would be the the fun of having something inside of you that you could not share with the world? Um, and all the time, um, you know, maybe it's not just a single experience, but a lot of experiences that you want to share with the world. You don't want to hold those things inside of you. You just want to give them away. Uh, share them with others because, you know, it evokes emotions, emotions within you and emotions within others. So, you know, whether you are telling a story to, to entertain or to educate or to inspire someone, you know, just remember that the most compelling stories, they, they speak to the heart uh, of the human experience, you know, as, as humans, we are so relatable um, to storytelling because, you know, it, 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 it may depend on the story that someone is telling, but still, you know, it resonates with, within us. And uh, <laughs> it's just, it's so heartwarming when you can, when you have someone just tell a story, whether it's fictional or nonfiction, it just does something uh, to you. There is something so powerful and artful about a a great storyteller. Okay. So, you know, let's embrace, uh, your inner storyteller, because I know that there are so many of you out there that are just waiting for the opportunity to tell a story or to tell your story. You know, that is the great part about who, what, and where. All right. So now that you have those three elements, just sit down and if you if you so desire to compose a story or if you are one of those people like my mother who never wrote anything down but she was an excellent storyteller and so um if you're one of those people then gather your audience and sit them down and tell them a story because you know that way you can share your story with the world all right So this is the end of today's episode. I hope that I left you with something useful, uh, something that you can share with someone else, share this story with someone else. And uh, I hope that you will listen, like, and share because that is so uh, great a part, greater part of storytelling. Uh, What I try to do every single week with these, um, with this podcast, okay? Um, And as I always say, I always wanna leave you with something to think about. Uh, because that is so important. That is why I do this show on a weekly basis. It's not just to, um, you know, just to do a podcast, but to leave you with, with some useful information, something that can enrich your life. Or if you're a writer or a, you know, an upcoming writer, uh, it can leave you with some inspiration, something that you can work with. All right. So as I always say, before I close each and every show, I always tell those who you care about the most, how you feel about them today, because tomorrow is not promised and today may be the only chance that you get to say that so on that note I love you I hope you love me back until the next time you hear my voice God bless you and goodbye loved what you've heard on this week's episode well well, the answer is simple it would mean the world to us if you could head over to iTunes and leave us a five star review and feedback Spreading the word really is the best way to grow our podcast and achieve even greater things. Thank you.